Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. Also guys, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server for real-time stock picks to trade with me and thousands of other investors live. We talk AMC, we trade options, and much, much more. So go to the first link in my description and join our private exclusive Discord server. Citadel and Virtue are creating massive systemic risk. The system almost failed earlier this year due to the systemic risk in the hands of the two biggest market makers. Citadel and Virtue CEO Ken Griffin and Douglas Sifu continue to argue that the retail investors have never had it better though. Although the SEC has been observing for quite some time, they are finally looking into both of their business models. What can be done in order to avoid the collapse of the entire system? The SEC has taken a stance against high frequency trading as and is currently supporting the D limit order from IEX. It's time for the retail investors to speak up and let our government leaders know our needs in the market. System checks and balances. In the United States, a system of checks and balances provides each branch of the government with individual powers to check other branches and prevent one branch from becoming too powerful. However, there seems to be a massive concentration of power between the market maker Citadel and Virtue in the finance world. It's very true. These two market makers are responsible for processing majority of all retail investor orders. This creates massive systemic risk since there is so much power concentrated within just two key players. Should one fail, both fail. The entire system could collapse. This almost happened in January during the stock meme stock rallies. Citadel claimed that they were the only market maker processing orders from Robinhood, and this is a big problem. There needs to be a separation of power. It is extremely important that the retail investors voice their needs from the government leaders regarding this matters. Payment for order flow. Payment for order flow takes more than it gives. Citadel, Virtue, and Robin continue to stand by payment for order flow. The issue with payment for order flow is that it takes more than it actually gives. Market makers argue that it saves retail investors billions and billions of dollars annually, but fail to mention that they also make money from retail through high frequency trading. In this documentary, The House of Ken Griffin, you will find that Citadel makes their money shorting stock. Retail investors don't want their orders processed by a company that is a market maker, hedge fund, and dark pool all at the same time. Not only is Citadel profiting from retail money through the high frequency trading, but they are also shorting the stock the retail investors are buying through various means. Dark pool trading and naked short selling are some of the other ways we've seen hedge funds suppress the rise of the stock share price. More so in meme stocks such as GameStop and AMC, which are heavily shorted. But there's another issue that has yet to be addressed, and that's the OTC, or what's also known as off-exchange trading. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.